Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is Believe. Over to you, Fred Smith. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. The reason I never lost confidence is because I never believed that the consequences of, of losing were, were as bad as some other people might have thought. You know, oh my goodness, I've lost my money or what have you. I mean, I just wasn't motivated along those lines. And I was very, very, very sure that what we were doing was extremely important and was destined to be successful. So that's the definition, I think, of an insane person or a zealot. <laughs> and most entrepreneurs, I think you would uh, find, have that sort of uh, green wire laid in there just a little bit uh, crosswise. And they, they begin to get focused on something and they, they believe in the idea or themselves far beyond what they probably should. So this is obviously a message that I resonate very well with. I think what gives you the confidence to believe no matter what in your idea is knowing that it's, it's helpful. I think for me, I have lofty and ambitious goals that some people might think are crazy. I wanna help a billion entrepreneurs, you know, or a billion people, even entrepreneurs. You know, I wanna hit a million subscribers on my YouTube channel. And it may not always happen as fast, as quickly as I want it to be, but it's going to happen. And it comes from me knowing that the stuff that I'm making is valuable to me as a starting point. Like, I want to make things that I love. I want to make top 10 videos. I want to write books. I want to help brands. I want to create products that I love, that I use, that when I look at, it makes me happy. It makes me feel good. It motivates me. And somewhere deep down, I just know that if I love it, if it makes me come alive, then others will too. And I want to share it. And I've told this story a couple of times on the channel, but when I was making my first Believe video, this is the origin of the little man story. It was six minutes long and I was so happy with it and I was so excited by it. And I showed it to somebody who was in my circle of friends, who was an expert in what he did in the video space. And he said that it's too long. Nobody's ever going to like this. You shouldn't release this. And that was a little soul crushing, but I thought, you know what? Screw him. The idea for Little Man came from him because there's always gonna be people who hate on your idea. I released it because I loved it, because it felt right, because when I watched it, it made me come alive. And that's, that's the cr only criteria that I need. If I like it, if I love it, if it moves me, if I get emotional handling my product or watching my video, then I know I've done a good job and I don't care what anybody else thinks, I'm gonna put it out there and it's gonna be successful. And that continues to be the biggest barometer. I chase new projects because I'm curious about it and I want to create something that I personally am proud of that I want to be able to show my kids, my grandkids. And the fact that you guys like it and consume it and enjoy it and want to be a part of it is a huge honor. I think you need to find that thing and be so proud of the products that you create that you don't care about what other people think about it. You are your own barometer. And I think too many people just mail it in. You do an okay enough project. You're not really super excited about it. You just get the job done. And that can contribute to you not believing in yourself and you not having confidence. Because you know you're producing substandard work. When you create amazing things that make you come alive, then it's easy to believe in yourself and what you can do. Question today today is, I'm curious what you believe in as a business? What's the mission that you're on? What are you trying to do to make the world a better place? Leave in the comments below. I'm going to join the discussion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Continue to believe and I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of Espresso. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going.